Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Damron. We're playing Sniper Elite 5. We're part of our collectible guide. We're actually in a DLC mission, which is Conquer. This is the 12th mission in the game, technically. So we're going to grab all the collectibles uh, in this mission, as well as the starting location. So you're going to start out on the southeast. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our way to the southwest portion of the map. It's kind of a large area with a lot of destroyed buildings. Okay, so we're going to come in off the main road. So that's where we're going to start. The first thing that we're going to grab is our first classified document. So you're going to be in this again kind of town area immediately go to the left and up these stairs hang a left and right here on this box you're gonna find your first collectible of the mission our first classified document from that classified document just look west across from you you'll see a dead eye target or stone eagle should be on the roof right in front of you from that collectible so right up here as always just shoot these you can use a weapon you can use a pistol if you want to it doesn't have to be a rifle um, but just shoot that and that's our first stone eagle off the board from that we're gonna get our first workbench just head back down the stairs hang a left and we're gonna go into this small uh, building here on our left hand side immediately turn left so we can go down into the basement where we'll find our first workbench of the mission so go ahead and interact with that you'll also get the close quarters pack uh, for interacting with the alley workbench in this mission so from that we're actually gonna go to where the kill target is which is gonna be north of where we were. So again, this is gonna be where your kill target is, where you're supposed to kill him with a chandelier. Um, so you're gonna go up to that building. Again, I kind of cleared out a lot of enemies already. There's actually four or five enemies in this room, um, but this is the building we need to go into. So if you do wanna get the kill objective, the chandelier's right there, just kind of fast forward it a little bit. Um, he'll walk down there, you can shoot it and get that kill. So just for reference point, this is where we're gonna be. So that indication of where he's at is gone now, right? But that red target will be this building. And once you kill him, if you want to, or however you want, right here on this uh, little desk is the next collectible in the mission, which is our first hidden item of this mission. So continue out of this building through this kind of destroyed portion of the wall to the north, get back on the main road, and we're gonna kind of continue north past this halt sign. After we pass that, we're gonna hang a left into this alley and use this stairwell to get into the second floor of this building. When we get into this building, we'll just turn to your right, and right beside this bed on the right-hand side is our first personal letter of the mission. Um, I'll show you where this is on the map exactly, just so you know. Um, but again, we were just south of us in the, mil in the building where the kill list was, and we just go north to this building here. Again, that stairwell's on the back side, and you can pick up this personal letter right here beside the bed. From that, we're gonna head back outside, go down the stairs. We're gonna walk over to this small gazebo that you can see right here in front of us. Uh, there will be an enemy here. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take him out. There's some enemies past it, but it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but once you take out this enemy, there is our next uh, classified document, our second and final classified document of this DLC mission this sitting right here on this handy. table. I know where you are now. All right, so we're gonna progress on a way. I've kind of cleared out all the enemies. You can see I'm kind of further, uh, kind of east now, right beside this three-way intersection. I'm right here, still off the main road. Probably by the time you get here, the indication will pop up on your map for our ex, uh, actually our next starting location. We'll grab that in just a minute. But also on the other side of that three-way, on top of the building, on top of the chimney stack, is gonna be our next Deadeye target, the next Stone Eagle. You can see it right up there. So go ahead and get any gun out you want to, take that shot, and we'll take out our second Deadeye at our target of the mission. All right, so from that location, again, we're gonna go grab that starting location that will probably be on your map at this point, but if it's not, you know, just look to the north, you'll see this small opening in the gate there, take this small path around the building, and you can interact with this campfire to unlock the next starting location. All right, so after we've got that, let's head back to the main road. We're gonna get our next personal letter. So this is back to the main road where we took the shot for the dead eye target. Now we're gonna go to the other side of the street, another opening in this wall that leads to the courtyard of this build, you know, kind of bigger building here. We're gonna go around the backside and up the stairs. And from here, look to the left, you'll see a window into that building that we can actually jump up into. So go ahead and do that. And when you jump up into this window, our personal letter is gonna be right here on the floor to the right, right in front of this couch. So I'll show you exactly Exactly, uh, which building this is so you're not there's no confusion at all but uh, this is the building right here on your map again it's uh, the southern building of this little three-way intersection so go ahead and hop up into that building pick up that personal letter 
and we're going to be progressing on into this mission not too much more to grab so from that let's just stay on the main road go all the way to the eastern side of the map kind of central height all the way to the east um, where this next three-way intersection is in the main road so we've gone all the way to the east again there's enemies on the way there's also enemies in this small village but when you get to this three-way stop you'll look to the left hand side and you should see a path that's kind of heading up into the woods so just walk all the way to the end of that path and when you get to the end of the path on the left hand side there's going to be the camp fire that you can interact with to unlock the third and final starting location again the first one is obviously automatically given to you so there's only two to find uh, but that is the third location so from that starting location let's head back down the path to the small village that's right here in front of us and we're going to continue on the main path to the south we're going to go to this building that has a blown out portion of the roof right in front of us here so go ahead and walk here and you're going to see a doorway that you can uh, go into immediately look to the right and you'll be able to go up this ladder and at the second floor just turn around and you'll see your next workbench again I'll show you the exact building that we are at in the map just so you aren't uh, you know lost in any way so from where we were again there's the three-way intersection and the starting location just straight south to this building that has this kind of rectangular uh, structure here again go to the second floor and this will be our next workbench our second one you'll also get the uh, assault case attachment with that so from there, now we're going to head to the central portion of the map. This is where your side objective to destroy the artillery guns are going to be. There's a large trench network here. Um, so I've kind of cleared out all the enemies again. And so we're at the easternmost uh, artillery gun here. So I've just kind of lit a fuse there. And we're heading to the westernmost uh, artillery gun. So this is where it is you can't miss this it's kind of on the way uh, but once you get to this artillery gun look to the left hand side right here on this kind of ammo crate is our next personal letter so go ahead and pick that up and that's our third and final personal letter of the mission and we're progressing on so now we're going to head to the kind of final area of the mission which is this castle keep um, as well as kind of the castle courtyard so i just kind of went in the main entrance here there's multiple ways to get over this wall but again i kind of cleared out all the enemies so head to the large courtyard area um, in this castle and so you see that's the main gate so when you come into this area again there's a lot of destroyed structure but head to the right hand side or the southernmost point of this initial area of the castle and you should see a small opening right here that's going to lead into an armory head down there and on your right hand side is gonna be our third and final workbench the castle grounds workbench um, again you can see I'm on the southern portion of the initial section in the castle walls so interact with that for the sustained fire mods and that's gonna be our third and final workbench um, in the mission so from that workbench now we're kind of kind of head into the castle a little bit further actually run to the second area so go kind of back to the main path here and continue towards the actual castle keep itself and as soon as you go under the next gate the dead eye target or stone eagle is right in the window of the tower that's right in front of you you really can't miss it it's right there you probably would just naturally see it um, from playing so go ahead and shoot that and that's our third and final dead eye target off the board we've only got one more um, collectible get and that's at the very end of the mission where you're going to have to actually kill a target you have to kill a uh, general koenig in the area where the collectible is but the best way to get there is to go around the back side of that tower and if you kind of go down that small little alleyway kind of it'll lead you to a climbable wall you can climb up i'm speeding this up because you don't need to see me climb the whole thing but this is actually the best way to kind of stealthily get to the end of this level anyway but climb up Let's here and groups. right here to the right is the find. general that you need to kill if you found the key you could go in that way you could do a satchel charge um, in order to get into his office so however you want to do it um, again on the easiest difficulty it doesn't matter really matter just throw a satchel on there and blow up the door Either way, once you get in there, again, that's your final objective, so you can take out uh, General Koenig, but also on his desk is our final collectible of the mission, the bronze statue hidden item. So go ahead and pick that up, and that's all of the collectibles and starting locations in Mission uh, 12, which is a DLC Mission Conquer. So I hope you guys found that helpful as always. If you haven't played this game, I highly recommend you check it out. If you're in the DLC, you probably have, but uh, a super fun game. That's all the collectibles. I hope you found it helpful, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.